Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Sarasota, which is on the west coast of Florida, and we're going to be touring this very luxurious custom home behind us. Uh, we are in Hampton Lakes and this community is uh, built by Medallion Homes, and this actual home is called the Grand Cayman. So it is 4,154 square feet of actually living. It has uh, four bedrooms and four baths, and it has a four car garage. You'll see that as we walk up on it here in a second. Um, and the base price of this home is $1,134,100. Um, and that's the base price. It does not include lot premiums or upgrades. And this home has a ton of upgrades. They are in the final phase of, of this specific community. So if you're interested in these communities, and this is one of those rare communities where you can actually get three acres of land with the home. Uh, the only thing is, is that the lots are going to be uh, $240,000 is typically the, the lowest price lot they have left. So you have to add that onto the base price and then all the upgrades and stuff. So you're going to be 1.5 to $2 million or so to get a house similar to the one that we see behind us. Um, so what I found really interesting about this one here is one of the few houses that I've seen that actually has two driveways. I'm standing on one driveway here past all this grass. There's another driveway there. That driveway is for this same house. So you actually have two two car garage driveways coming in. There are long driveways coming all the way up to the home. Of course, we have our tile roof and really nice uh, design on the front of the home. So as we come up here, we go from concrete to the actual pavers and these are really nice pavers. We have the two car garage here that is covered. Um, and then the window over on this direction here is also part of the garage. Um, you'll see when we go inside, it's four cars, but you can probably fit five cars in there. So let's go ahead and walk down this walkway, uh, which meanders through some natural landscaping, tropical landscaping stuff that will do good here in Florida. And look at this day, it's a beautiful day. It's February 21st, 2022, and it is about 82 degrees. So it's getting a little warm in this jacket right now. So as we come over here, we come to the front entry. It is covered and we do have our dual doors here with the privacy glass. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out what's in there. <laughs> Welcome into this beautiful home. So as we come in, one of the first things that you notice is over here, but we'll talk about that in a second because we need to talk about the entryway. Um, we do have some really nice uh, tile work going throughout, stone tile work going throughout the actual home. And then above us is this beautiful chandelier and they sort of have a tray ceiling with a lip in it that actually has some LED lights going there as well. So that is pretty cool, but check this out. This is a cool entry area because we have our dining room. It's set up right now for eight people. We have these really cool like bulb lights, LEDs, but they look like teardrops coming down from the ceiling, which is extremely tall. The ceiling is tall. And of course the accent wall over here with all these mirrors that Haley is loving all the mirrors um, that you see on the wall. And of course we have the windows here looking out to the front yard. Now, if I go on this other direction, we do have the office and this is one of my favorite spots for an office, which is close to the front door. Uh, this one's a cozy office. Um, as you come in here, we do have the French doors in the front. And then of course we have an accent wall with some floating storage and cool wallpaper going up with some lights to give some uh, lights to your artwork. And above us is this really cool LED lighting fixture coming over the actual desk. So let's go ahead and show you what your view is when you actually enter. So as Haley backs up towards the door, you'll see what I saw when we came in, which is this beautiful, beautiful living area. It's all, it, like pretty much the whole house. You can see a lot of the house here. You can see the living room. You can see the dining room. You can see the kitchen, the butler's pantry, the family room in the back. So tons of space here, but this is the living room. And the first thing that you sort of have to notice is that you have to look up and see these beautiful architectural ceilings with some beautiful woodworking through it. And of course this chandelier that hangs right in the middle. Over on this other side, we do have a built-in fireplace. It's an electric fireplace, but it does have heating options for you, which you do not need today. It's 83 degrees, so you wouldn't need that on, but you do get that nice ambience by having those fireplaces on with the nice crystals in the fireplace. And then of course behind me is a sliding glass door going to the outside kitchen, the summer kitchen, which is all covered and a pool, which is a really nice pool. For this price point, this is probably one of the biggest pools I've seen. I've seen bigger pools in Windermere and celebrities houses and things like that. But this, this pool is one we actually really like. So let's go ahead and go that direction and show you the kitchen. So here we are. Um, this is a very nice size kitchen. We have beautiful counters here with some really nice designs on the countertop. And of course, the drawers, everything's highly upgraded as far as all the cabinets go. On this side, we have more cabinet space, uh, LED lighting with a nice backsplash, a built in fridge. These are usually Samsung chefs. Um, actually, no, this one's a decor 
our refrigerator, but it's very similar to the Samsung Chef's Choice fridges. Um, and then of course we have the freezer part down there. As we continue to go, we do have a walk-in pantry, if you can check that out there. And then we do have our oven, um, which is the same brand as the uh, refrigerator. And of course the cabinets, which go all the way up to the ceiling. I like when they go all the way up to the ceiling. Might need a step stool to get up there if you have anything stored up there, but it'd be a great place for like seasonal stuff that you use like once a year that you can get down if you need it. And of course we come through here. This is got a gas range. Um, and then of course the vent that goes out and then it continues to go all the way around. As you continue to go around, you have your dishwasher and then you have the sink and the sink sitting here looking at the family room. The TV's right in front of you as well. If you're trying to do dishes and you can have the TV on at the same time as well. And then we do have the microwave here. This one's got the cool little pull down and then you just um, hit this button and it opens up. You put your stuff in the microwave, you go ahead and close it and then it goes on. And then when you're done with it, you just push that thing up like that and you're good to go. So that's pretty cool. You do have a warming drawer down here. So if you need to um, keep things warm, you have that option as well. So let's go ahead and come this direction and look at this area. So this is a breakfast nook and I love how they have the window doesn't have a frame in the middle as it cuts. It has a two pieces of uh, glass coming together with a clear seam in the middle, looking out at the beautiful, beautiful outdoor living area and of course the pool. So currently set up for six people here. So you have six people here. You can put four people over here, plenty of eating options. That doesn't even include the dining room. So here's the family room. First thing I notice is this light fixture in the middle. It's a round light fixture of LED lights on the inside which is really, really cool. And of course that goes up to a tray ceiling uh, that has LED lights and also recessed lights built in as well. And then we do have uh, some storage here, built in cabinets and of course woodworking going throughout a little window here for some natural light, your TV. And then on this side, you do have a sliding glass door as well that goes out to the outside area. And here you can really see how much space you have between properties. And we'll see that when we go outside in a little bit. So let's go ahead and go left and take you down this direction. And Haley, I think just got on the, on the mirror. I saw you. <laughs> All right. So here's bedroom number two. And this is a very, very spacious bedroom. As we can see, uh, we have plenty of space over here. That way, Haley, that way. Not, not just so worried about not getting on the uh, mirror in the bathroom, but we have a ton of space over here uh, as far as carpets and everything else. And then over this direction was the bathroom, right? Yeah. So we do have a bathroom here as we come in. And as you can see, it's got a nice counter, really cool uh, design on the actual counters, cabinets, and then the mirror and then wallpaper going throughout. Now over on the other side, all the way down there is a frameless shower. It's a big size shower and also has the ceramic tile going all the way up to the ceiling. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and I'll show you, it's probably got a closet over here. So let me go ahead and show you that as well. So let's walk all the way over here. This is a good size, bedroom for a spare bedroom. And then we have the walk-in closet, which has some really nice cabinet work in it. So pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take you on the other side. So follow me this direction as we go here. And then this direction, we get a uh, bedroom number three. So here's bedroom number three, as you see. Um, we do have a couple beds here. Uh, they do that medallion builders, the interior designers have done this in other uh, homes as well, where they have sort of like a built-in backboard on all the beds, which is pretty cool. It's built into the wall. We do have our closet, which is a little bit smaller than the other one, but still larger than most spare bedrooms as far as closets go. And then of course we do have on the other side, a bathroom, which is adjoining to the pool bath. So this one would also be on the pool bath. I love the wallpaper here. They had the wallpaper in um, Aqua, another community that we did, and the light shined on it and it had like different colors, which I thought was really, it went from gold to silver, which I thought was really cool. So I definitely like that wallpaper. Of course, cabinets, sink, mirror, cool LED light fixtures. And then we do have the toilet and the shower behind me. And then this door with the privacy glass that goes out to the pool area which is a really cool extended pool that we'll see here in just a second. So let's go ahead and follow me this direction. And if you've done already, make sure you like the video. Also subscribe to our channel, whether you're looking for a luxury home uh, in Florida or you just like interior design ideas, or just looking at like really nice homes. This would be a great channel to follow as we come through here. Let's go ahead and go through the Butler's Pantry. 
so you can see we have extra storage and of course everything here is high quality you have the soft clothes you have a little beverage refrigerator and of course on this side we have a little area for our wine and that leads over to the dining room um, but here is the laundry room so let's go over to the laundry room and show you that so we have our washer and dryer and also sink area and then of course behind me is the garage so let's go ahead and go into the garage and show you that so as we come in you'll see that this is a very large garage so we have two car garage here and we have a two car garage over here we have all this other space on this direction we even have french doors that go outside so if you wanted to go this way it has a pathway that goes all the way around to the front of the house and also back to the pool all right so this is a really really cool garage Haley thinks that we should have one like this so fit our cars in it i do like cars unfortunately always have since i was a kid so let's go ahead and go through uh this door go back through to the laundry room and we'll show you the fourth bedroom which is right down this direction so let's go ahead and show you that first thing first thought would be the bathroom so this bathroom is one that could be used for guests or also the, the actual bedroom but we do have nice cabinets and this is the same sort of counter that we saw in the other uh bathroom and of course the mirror we have textured wallpaper and then nice light fixtures and then of course we have the shower with the frameless glass and the uh, tile going all the way up to the ceiling so that's pretty cool and then if I go this direction this will be bedroom number four they've done some pretty cool little woodworking around uh, that makes it you know sort of like pop as far as the bedrooms go and then uh, you have your bed they have that bed frame built into the wall as you see a couple of nice windows looking out to the huge front yard and then we do have a closet on this side um, I'll open that up, show you. It's a regular size closet. And then on the other side, we do have the sliding glass door, or sliding glass door, sliding door. <laughs> Haley, don't laugh at me. <laughs> so, okay, so anyway, you have the sliding door there. And of course, what you could do is if you wanted to, you can close this one here, lock that, and then you would have your own little ensuite on this side as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go on to the other side of the house. And you know, if you haven't, hit the like button. We, me and Haley appreciate it. Uh, and also, if you're looking to buy a home anywhere in Florida, make sure you can give me a call. My number is 407-487-3030. Call or text. I'll be more than happy to help you or find you someone in that specific area that can help you really good. So here we are to the primary bedroom suite. We do have the French doors. So hold on. Welcome to the primary suite. Come on in. Now, usually we show you this side first, which is where the bedroom is. But this one's got a pretty interesting closet. So we decided to go this direction first, but what's behind me, we have a little coffee area where you have beverage, like a little beverage station, sink. So when you're here in the evening, you can close that, have a little nightcap here if you want, or in the morning, you can make yourself a coffee, all within your, your primary bedroom suite. But let's go through, we have a door, we go through here and we come to a room that's bigger than many bedrooms I've seen. And it's a whole closet. So you have to actually go through the closet and check out this closet. Not only do you have storage on this side where you have plenty of stuff for all your clothes, your ties and you know shoes and everything you need, but then you have this whole section here, which has you know clothes rack, you have your shoe rack, and it goes all the way through. You have plenty of drawers, you have a little center island, you have this beautiful crystal light fixture that's above this center island. Pretty cool, isn't it? I like it, right? And then of course you have uh, all the areas here and then going this direction you do have more shoe areas here right yeah it's a pretty cool closet it's a little bit bigger than i need but if you need this space this is pretty cool that's what's cool about custom homes you can do whatever you want and make it customized to your needs but as we come here this is the bathroom we have a tub here like a little garden tub looking out of the actual side window and of course you have the plantation shutters there and then we do have um shower which has two entrances you can go in here shower and then you know if you wanted to you can you can come out here and uh and then of course on this side we do have the sink and this has a couple mirrors which are nice with the little edgings on the mirrors but i like the actual where they did the wallpaper well not the wallpaper like wall design with this um sort of like a backsplash design with a little round uh, design going all the way up to the ceiling and it sort of goes cool with these other shapes 
that are the wallpaper on the actual walls throughout the whole bathroom. We have our water closet here, which is nice and private. And then that is that. So let's go ahead and go in this direction, go past this. It's an award winning, it got an actual, it actually has the best feature for a 2022. They're having the parade of homes right now, so they've won the best feature. So this must be the best closet in all of Sarasota County. So that's what you're looking for. You gotta check out this house. So let's go ahead and go here. This is the primary bedroom. So obviously plenty of space here. You have a king size bed, lots of nice little windows going all with the custom uh, actual uh, window treatments. Above us is a tray ceiling with LED lights, a little bit of woodworking, recessed lights as well, and a cool, of course, a chrome and LED light fixture. Above us, we have our TV on this side and like a little sitting area here. So you can make your coffee over in that little breakfast nook here. You can come over here, sit down and enjoy the morning coffee um, with your partner. And then if you wanted to, then you can just put your swimsuit on and go outside and go for a swim. So let's go ahead and check that out as we come out here. We do have a door and we go outside. And now we are in the outdoor entertainment area. So the first thing is what we saw from the actual living room would be the uh, summer kitchen. So we have our sink, nice granite countertop. I love how they have the design going in it like a diagonal to the air vent. And of course you have your barbecue. Uh, and then also a nice refrigerator here for all your cold stuff. A little living room area right next to this line glass door. And of course, we see this beautiful uh, window here that looks into the breakfast nook and kitchen. We're still covered as we come over here. So we're still on the covered patio. Going out to another sliding glass door, it goes into the family room that we saw, but then we come out to the actual beautiful area. And this is something with new homes you don't get. Look how much property you have between homes. Just amazing amount of space um, and still in a community. So you want that community feel, but you want a little bit of yard or a lot of yard, <laughs> three acres, that's a lot of yard. Uh, you, this is definitely a community to check out. But we have our jacuzzi sitting over here. So your jacuzzi comes down to a tanning shelf and then it comes to this amazing pool. Haley's in love with this pool. She keeps on bothering me about getting a pool, but this is, we're gonna have comments now saying, Mike, get Haley a pool. I know that. So anyway, so we have, uh, we have uh, the pool here going, and it keeps on going on and on and on. And it just goes into this really cool little design on this area. So we come up here, we have lots of little sitting areas, and then it has like a step up, and then this little cool, like really shallow area with a couple little fountains. I'm sure at night you can put LED lights. It's probably already got LED lights on there to make it a really nice atmosphere. So that's this home. Again, if you're looking for that space, this is a home to check out. We'll have all everything in the description below on how to contact us and also a little bit more information about this specific home. And I wanna thank everyone for watching. If you haven't done already, make sure you like the video. Talk to you all next week. Take care, bye-bye.